lot of customers come to us and they're really not sure how to connect their devices, particularly when they want to export to multiple countries around the world. There's different ways of doing it. And you can look at, do you get a local SIM in each country or do you get one SIM to try and rule them all, as it were, to cover everywhere all at once? And each has its advantages and disadvantages. First up, cause overall attitude is there is usually nothing as good as the SIM as close to the country that you're going to be using it in as possible. So local SIMs are the best where you can get them. A local SIM works really well if you're doing a rollout within an individual country where there's a single carrier and you're rolling out thousands and thousands of devices. That's how you keep your cost down. And it's especially useful if you've got very high data usage because that's the best way of keeping the cost down within that country. So if you're rolling out throughout the United States, for example, or in Australia or in England, you would try and use a local SIM if you possibly can. If, however, you're using one, a SIM in multiple countries, there are different forms of what we call global SIMs these days. And they're SIMs that give you a flat rate price throughout multiple countries or multiple regions or different types of carriers. And there are a number of these to choose from as well. So as a principle, what we would normally say is you try and find a SIM that is homed in one of the countries with which you're going to operate. So if, for example, you want to work throughout Southeast Asia mainland, you try and find a SIM that's based in one of those countries or nearby that has common ownership. So for example, you might use a SIM that's from one of the partner carriers from a carrier in one of those countries. You wouldn't necessarily want to put a South American SIM into Southeast Asia because you would find that the roaming rates don't work. But as a general principle, carrier countries and carriers that are close to each other will have very good roaming rates and very good roaming activity between them. And that's always your aim. Keep your costs down, make sure that it works. In fact, you probably want to do it in the reverse order. It's got to work first, then you keep your costs down. And that's the principles that we're always trying to work on. The core offer a variety of different sims, from sims that are intended to go anywhere in the world to sims that are very regionalised. And a lot of what we do when we're helping customers start out is in determining the right connectivity type and the right sim type for your application. Do you want one SIM because you only want to have one SKU in your product? Or do you want multiple SIMs because you want to reduce the price as much as possible? What's most important? How much data? What do you need to do? That's what we work with you to make sure it works for you.